Uh, this is uh, from the website goodreads.com, uh, Greed Quartz. Art provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. Mahap Nagandhi. The world says you have needs, satisfy them. You have as much right as the rich and the mighty. Don't hesitate to satisfy your needs indeed. Expand your needs and demand more. This is the worldly doctrine of the day and they believe that this is freedom. The source for the rich is isolation and suicide for the poor envy and model. From Ferdon Dalaski, the brothers Kalanov. He who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have, Socrates. Greed is your god, Kaz. He almost laughed at that. No, Indian. Greed bows to me. It is my servant and my level. Ling Bangongo. Successful people are always looking for opportunities to help others. Unsuccessful people are always asking, what's in it for me? Brian Tracy. There is more in you, there, there is more in you of good than you know, child of the kindly West. Some courage and some wisdom blended in measure. If more of us valued food and cheer and sung above hoard and gourd, it would be a merrier, a merrier world. J.R.R. Tolkien. Manifest plainness, embrace simplicity, reduce selfishness, have few desires, loud soon to zo. Tizo. That same night I wrote my first short story. It took me 30 minutes. It was a dark little tale about a man who found a magic cup and learned that if he wept into the cup, his tears turned into pearls. But even though he had always been poor, he was a happy man and where he shed a tear. So he found ways to make himself sad so that his tears could make him rich. As the pearls piled up, so did his greed grow. The story ended with the man sitting on a mountain of pearls, knife in hand, weeping helplessly into the cup, with his beloved wife slain body in his arm, arms. Kylie Hosanetni, the kite runner. Declare your jihad on totty enemies. You cannot see egotism, arrogance, conceit, selfishness, greed, loss, intolerance, anger, lying, cheating, gossiping, and sandering. If you can master and destroy them, then you will be read, read to fight the enemy you can see. Our uh, Zazli. Growth for the sake of growth is the is the is the ideology is the ideology of a ca of the cancer cell. Edward Abbey. No more games, no more bombs, no more walking, no more fun, no more swimming, 69. That is 17 years past 50. 17 more than I needed or wanted, boring, I always bitching. No fun for anybody, 67, you are getting greedy. Act your age, relax, this won't hurt. Hunter S. Thompson. There's nobody in this country who got rich on their own. Nobody, you, nobody. You built a factory out there. Good for you, but I want to be clear. You moved your goods to market on roads the rest of us paid for. You hired workers the rest of us paid to educate. You were safe in your factory because of police forces and fire forces that, that the rest of us paid for. You didn't have to worry that Moradin bands would come and seize everything at your factory. Now look, you built a factory and it turned into something terrific or a great idea. God bless. Take a hunk of it what part of the underlying social contract is is you take a hunk of that and pay forward for the next kid who comes along, Elizabeth Warren. I find it odd the greed of mankind. People only like you for as long as they perceive they can get what they want from you. Or for as long as they perceive you are who they want you to be. But I like people for all of their changing surprises, the thoughts in their heads, the warmth that changes to cord and the cord that changes to warmth for being human. The rawness of being human delights me, J. Jibel C. There is no fire like passion, there is no shark like hatred, there is no snare like folly, there is no torment like greed. 
Sidihara Gautama. If it weren't for greed, tolerance, hate, passion and murder, you would have no works of art, no great buildings, no miracle science, no Mozart, no Van Gogh, no Muppets and no Louis Armstrong. Why can't a, gr a Grisha possess more one amplifier? I will answer the question instead. What is infinity of the universe and the greed of men? Leo Bongogo. Shadows and bones. I'm afraid that our eyes are bigger than our stomach and that we have more curiosity than understanding. We grasp at everything but catch nothing except the wind. Michael D. Mon I do apologize, I'm butchering a lot of these names. Michael D. Mongandine. The the complete essays. Um, be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. One, buffers. So the unwanted soul sees what's hidden, and and the ever wanting soul sees only what it wants. Loud to thee. They had battled and bloodied one another. They had kept secrets, broken hearts, lied, betrayed, exiled. They had walked away, said goodbye, and swore it was forever. And somehow, every time they have mended, they had forgiven, they have survived. Some mistakes could never be fixed. Some, but not all. Some people can't be driven away, no matter how hard you try. Some friendships won't break. That's Robin Watts, Watts our man. Our labors preserve us from three great evils. Weariness, vice, and want. Volatile. Well, first of all, tell me. Is there some society you know that doesn't run on greed? You think Russia doesn't run on greed? You think China doesn't run on greed? What is greed? Of course, none of us are greedy. It's only for the other fellow who is greedy. The world runs on individuals pursuing their separate interests. The great achievements of civilization have not come from government brewers. Einstein didn't construct his theory under order from a bureaucrat. Henry Ford didn't revolutionize the automobile industry that way. In, in the only cases in which the masses have escaped from the kind of grid and poverty you're talking about, the only cases in record history are where they have had capitalism and largely free trade. If you want to know where the masses are worse off, worse off it's exactly in the kinds of societies that depart from that. So that the record of history is absolutely crystal clear that there is no alternative way so far discovered of improving the lot of the ordinary people that can hold a candle to the productive activities that are unleashed by the free enterprise system, Milton Friedman. Trust a handful of rapturous citizens come to control all that was worth controlling in America. Trust was a savage and, st and, st and stupid, the entire in inappropriate and unnecessary the and humorless American class system created. Honest, industrious, peaceful citizens were classed as bloodsuckers. If they asked to be paid a living wage and they saw that praise was resolved henceforth for those who dis despise means of getting paid enormous, enormously for committing crimes against which no laws have been passed, trust the American dream turned belly up, turned green, bopped up to the scummy surface of cupid unlimited filled with gas, went bang in the noon, noonday sun, caught Vonnegut. Greed, envy, slot, pride and gluttony, these are not vices anymore, no, these are marketing tools. Lust is our way of life, envy is just a nudge towards another scale. Even in our relationships we consume each other, each of us looking for what we can get out of the other. Our appetites are often satisfied at the expense of those around us. In a dog-eat-dog -dog world we lose part of our humanity. Uh, John, John Foreman. I sit on a man's back, choking him and making him carry me, and yet assure myself and others that I am sorry for him and wish to lighten his load by all means possible, except by getting off his back. Leon Trotsky. 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 When morality comes up against profit, it is seldom that profit loses, surely, Chris Hord. That something so small could be so beautiful, what so much, only the strongest people can turn away from feelings like that, anti door. I want an Oompa Loompa, screamed Vorka, Rodell. I am convinced that 
the imprisonment is a way of pretending to, to solve the problem of crime. It does nothing for the victims of crime, but perpetrates the idea of retribution, trust maintaining the endless cycle of violence in our culture. It is cruel and loose as substitute for the elimination of those conditions, poverty, unemployment, homelessness, desperation, racism, greed, which are the root of the most punished crimes. The crimes of the rich and powerful go mostly unpunished. It must surely be, be a tr tr tribute to the resilience of the human spirit that even a small number of those men and women in the hell of the prison system survive and hold on to their humanity. Howard Zinn Anna Ryan's philosophy is nearly perfect in its mor morality, which makes the size of our audience all the more obvious and sympathetic, and we enter a curious new phase in our society to justify and extort human greed and egotism. Is my mind not only immoral but evil? Go Finder. Doing nothing for others is the undoing of ourselves, Horace Mann. The master said, a true gentleman is one who has his, has set his heart upon the way. A fellow who's, who is ashamed merely of shabby clothing or modest mules is not even what cons, conversing with. Confess, confuse. You ever get the feeling the world's filling up with bastards? I do. What I want to know is what happens when all the bastards run out of people to crap on? What happens when all that's left in the world is bastards? The golden rule, screw others before they screw onto you. Willem Hoffman. A place in my head. What is infinity, the universe and the greed of men? Louis Bamdogo. Among the rich, you will never find a really generous man, even by accident. They may give their money away, but they will never give themselves away. They are egotistical, secretive, dry as old bones. To be smart enough to get all that money, you must be dull enough to want it. Uh, G.K. Chesterton. A master said, if you... If you conduct, if your conduct is determined solely by consideration of poverty, you will be aroused, you will arouse great resentment, Confucius. It is the privilege of the gods to want nothing, and of a godlike men to want little. The duties of Sinipopi. She never forgets a slight real or imagined. She takes cautious for cowardice and dissents for defiance, and she is greedy. Greedy for power, for honour, for love. George R. R. Martin We cannot negotiate with people who say what's mine is mine and what's yours is negotiable. Um, John F. Kennedy, the boiling crisis, addressed to the American people, July 25th, 1961. You have succeeded in life when all you really want is only what you really need. Veron Howard, Veron Howard. Of all the icy blasts that blow on love, a request for money is the most chilling. Gustav Fabert. The master said, the gentleman understands what is right, whereas the pity man understands profit. Confucius. Wine and women make wise men dot and forsake God's law and do wrong. However, the fault is not in the wine and often not in the woman. The fault is in the one who misuses the wine or the woman or other of God's creations. creations. Even if you get drunk on the wine and through this greed you lapse into l l literacy, the wine is not to blame but you are. In being unable or unwilling to discipline yourself and even if you look at a woman and become caught up in her beauty and a sort and a, a, a sent to sin, equals adultery and extra marital sex. The woman is not to blame, nor is the beauty given her by God to be disparaged. Rather, you are to blame for not keeping your heart more clean of wicked thoughts. If you feel yourself tempted by the sight of a woman, control your gaze better. Control your gaze better. You are free to leave her. Nothing constrains you to commit lynchery, but your own lynchous heart. As anonymous. The stuff of nightmares is their, is their plain bread. They butter it with pain. They set their clocks by dead, dead watch beetles and strive the centuries. 
they were the men with the leather rippled rippled whips, rippled whips, and sweet up the pyramid, season it with other people's salt and other people's cracked hats. Then cast you up on the white horses of the plague. They whispered to Caesar that he was mortal. They saw daggers at half price in the grand mass sale. Some must have been lazy clowns, foot prompt for emperors, princes, and ipid pups. Then out. Out on the road, gypsies in time, the populations grew as the road grew spread, and there was more disinferiority of pain to thrive on. The train put wheels onto them, and here run down the log road out of the Gothic and ba Barbecue. Look at their wagons and coaches, the scraven like medieval shrines, all of it, stuff once drawn by horses, mules, or maybe men. We back of Bowie. I will tell you. The secret to getting rich on Wall Street. You try to be greedy when others are fearful, and you try to be fearful when others are greedy. The, the best is the enemy of good. Foretale. There is very fine line between love and life and being greedy for it. Maya Angelou. In a society governed passionately by free markets and free elections, organised greed always defeats disorganised democracy, Matt Tabby. Mirrors on the ceiling, the pink champagne on ice, and she said, We are all just prisoners here of our own device. And in the master's chambers, they gather full of feasts, they stab it with their steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Last thing I remember was running for the door, I had to find the passage back to the place I was before. Relax, said the night man. We are programmed to receive. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. The egos. Greed is a fat demon with a small mouth, and whatever you feed it is never enough. Ja William Van de Wetterin. It was not curiosity that killed the goose who laid the golden egg. But it was the insensible greed that devoured common sense, E. A. Bunkerari. The ugliest thing in, Amer in America is greed, the lust for power and domination, the lunatic ideology of perpetual growth with a capital G. Progress in our nation has for long to been confused with growth. I see the two are different, almost incompatible, since progress means or should mean change for the better towards social justice, a livable and open world, equal opportunity and a front of action for all forms of life. And I mean all forms, not merely the human, the grizzly, the wolf, the rattlesnake, the conchord, the coyote, the crocodile, wherever each and every species has as much right to be here as we do. Edward Abbey Selfishness and greed, individual or national, Cause most of of cause most of our problems, Harry S. Truman. The difference between greed and ambition is a greedy person desires things he isn't prepared to work for. He bade Akadi. Look at the look at the orators in our republics as long as they are poor. Both state and people can only praise their uprightness. But once they are fattened on the public funds, they conceive a hatred for justice, plan in integrities against the people, and attack the democracy, apostatis. There is no wealth but life, John Ruskin. If we fear we cannot strike the right notes anymore, and are incapable of forging ahead through the enticing patches of our dreams, we must wildly put the treadmill on hold, so let's tame the inflatable demand of greed for a while, and look for our deeper self for compassion. The empty mirror, Eric Perfeganji. I am fat because I'm greedy, and if my mind is fat, it's because I'm curious. Stephen Fry. There are people who are never content, never pleased, forever dissatisfied, who continue to look to what escapes them, convince themselves that if only they could attain that one desire outside the reach, they could, would be happy. It seems almost pointless to give to these people because their eyes immediately shift from the gift to sheer misery at the portions held back. Their wants, demands, expectations, appetites are never satisfied, are never stated. Trust they refuse to be happy and you cannot make them so. Rochelle E. Goodrich. Uh, thanks so much for watching this about Goodreads uh, Greed Quotes.